Europe's most popular touring car series visits Wiesbaden, with everyone enthralled by the DTL. At the opening party, the teams present themselves for the first time. Thousands experienced cars and drivers almost close enough to touch. Audi and Mercedes all set for the title fight. The DTM always reinventing itself, with Valencia and Shanghai joining the race calendar for 2010. In keeping with the new look, the most unusual new recruit lining up for Mercedes, the first Chinese driver in DTM history. I've been following DTM for a number of years. Obviously, they're always creating a good racing, exciting race to the fans. And uh, I always like to watching DTM race on TV. And to actually get the opportunity is quite uh, incredible. The most spectacular signing is named David Coulthard. After a year away from motorsport, the dashing Scott aims to be going flat out once again in the DTM, driving for his old silver love. Mercedes, with whom he achieved his greatest success in his F1 days. 51 podiums and 12 wins. In 2005, he then switched color. Silver became blue with red wings. And with Red Bull, DC became a cult brand. Also more laid back with designer stubble. Coulthard set the fun team on course. In Monaco, he got Red Bull their first podium finish ever. An historic moment. In 2008, he quit Formula One, leaving motorsports elite. Only to get right back on board with the Silver Arrows again in 2010 in the DTM. What I realized is I missed the adrenaline of competition. And what really got me interested again was I went to two of the DTM races last year. And uh, at the last, uh, the last one in Hockenheim, the racing was so good, so close uh, and exciting that um, after that I spoke with Norbert and asked if I could make a test. Learners can't expect to win at once. And while F1 is clearly not the worst grounding, to be up with the leaders right away in the DTM seems almost impossible. Ralph Schumacher is starting his third season. In the Mercedes first team, HWA, since 2009, his goal for the season is nevertheless only vague. The aim is naturally to achieve better results than last year. My first year here with HWA was certainly not all that easy. Now, with a bit more experience, things ought to actually go better. Very calm and outwardly unimpressed by contrast is Timo Scheider. The reigning champion is the man to beat. Anyone after the 2010 crown will have to get by him and his Audi. Scheider knows this and the two times champion is now aiming for the first ever triple. It's a the winter's over now and I feel fully motivated and that also means that I intend to make it happen because that would naturally be something that would go down in history. But I'm trying not to get obsessed by it. I'm trying to do my best as every year the best for the Audi brand and for the team. Whether it works out in the end is another matter. The competition's tough. I think we've got a very, very exciting year ahead of us. And eagerly awaited the appearance of Spanish youngster Miguel Molina. The man from Barcelona will be driving alongside Oliver Jarvis for Audi ABT. And he's got one title tied up already. Well, now Molina's joined the team. I'm actually no longer the youngest uh, Audi driver, which is a shame to lose that title. But I think I can offer a lot of support to Miguel. I always drive Formula car, so it will be a hard, a hard and a strong season. For the time being, the cars are not allowed to be altered, with development frozen in 2009. Young guns and past masters, it could be the most exciting DTM season of all time. Spengler, Scheider, Ekstrom, Chavez, Paffert, De Resta, they're all racing for the title. The party for 2010 began on the streets of Wiesbaden and is now ready to draw the crowds out to the track. Oh, oh.